we're lucky enough to get around to a lot of different amusement parks, yet still there are so many across the world that we can't possibly get to all the ones that we want to go to. So yeah. obviously, but ob so obviously we're going to have a huge number of bucket list parks that we want to get to. So this video is all about those top 10 bucket list parks. Now, before we get into this video, we'd like to thank you for watching. If you're new to this channel, please go down and subscribe. Helps us out a ton. If you're joining us once again, thank you for coming back. Appreciate it. And if you want to go one step above subscribing, you can go down the, into the description. There's a link to a channel membership page. And you can go in there and you get things like exclusive, exclusive videos, exclusive shout outs, like all these wonderful people right here. The studio partners get early access to some videos and it helps the channel out a ton. So definitely go recommend that. Yeah, check that out. So now that we're done with that, let's get into this video. Now, some of these parks, we have some aspirations to get to in the near future. Some we have uh, some hopes to get to maybe in the next, I maybe next year or so. Yeah, I definitely want to go to all of these parks sometime in my lifetime, at least. <laughs> um, one thing real quick is none of the, in these parks aren't based off of where they are. They're just based off of the parks themselves. So say like you really want to go to Japan. We're not saying, oh, we're going to put Fuji Q Highland higher because we want to go to Japan. No, we're looking at the park solely by itself. Yeah, this not is not the area yeah, that it's in. Yeah, this is just specifically the park. So starting off at number 10, what do we got? Alton yeah, Towers. Alton Towers. So we're going to the UK first. Alton Towers is one of the biggest parks by land in the world. Uh, and a lot of that is taken up by these huge gardens, which are really cool. But Alton Towers has actual towers, like actual castles that aren't just what the park built. They're actual real life castles uh, in the park, which is really cool. But the whole park has this whole like dark theme, like all the coasters have a kind of creepier theme with Smiler, I like uh, that. 13. And the whole park is very wooded, like you can't see anything until you're there and a lot of the pathways are very narrow. It's just a really cool place and I definitely want to go there very soon. And at number nine, we have Puerto Ventura in Spain. Now this is considered one of the best parks in all of Europe. They have rides Shambhala, Dragon Con, they have uh, Ferrari Land, which is kind of a separate amusement park, kind of connected to Puerto Ventura. It is connected, but it's kind of the same, kind of not. Maybe like uh, Universal Islands of Adventure and, yeah, type yeah, deal? Yeah, very much like Universal and Islands of Adventure. But, and they, but they have Red Force there. But the park is just supposed to be absolutely incredible, amazing theming, absolutely beautiful. And Shambhala is supposed to be the best being a hyper coaster in the world, even better than rides like Mako, which we have ridden and we love Mako. But Shambhala is supposed to be even like a lot better. So definitely want to go there. And at number eight, I just talked about Ferrari Land, but now we're going to Abu Dhabi in the UAE and we're going to Ferrari World, which is a much bigger park than That's Ferrari That's confusing. Land. Ferrari World, Ferrari Land, very confusing. Ferrari World is a lot bigger than Ferrari Land and they have the fastest roller coaster in the world that is Familia Rosa at 149 miles an hour. It's so fast you have to wear goggles to actually ride that thing or else you'll get like sand and all sorts of mm. stuff in your eyes, so. But that thing whole, looks amazing. The whole park is like indoors, but the coasters are outdoors. At least most of the coasters are outdoors, which is really cool. And they have Flying Aces, which is the only other intimate wing coaster, if you're not including uh, Furious Baco at Puerto Ventura. But it's a very similar ride to Sky Rush at Hershey Park. And it's the only one, only other one like it in the world, which is just very cool. So that park looks absolutely incredible. Now we are at number seven. We are going to Energylandia in Poland. This park is very unique because it's kind of broken up into two different parks. It is. You have yeah. the front of the park, which is the older version, and the back of the park, which is like the newer version. The front of the park is not supposed to be that nice. It's supposed to be very random, and I've seen a lot of videos of it, and it's just kind of just kind of weird. But then once you get to the back, like where Zadra is, they have this really cool medieval theme, and it's just really cool. They're one of the fastest, no, the fastest growing amusement park in the entire world because they're adding multiple roller coasters every year and they have rides like Zadra and Hyperion, uh, Abyssus which is newer, Familia One. They have just so much there and they're growing so fast. And one of the reasons they're able to grow so fast is because the government helps subsidize the park and gives them money to build new coasters to bring in some tourists and stuff like that. So it definitely helps out a lot. Sounds like uh, the Polish version of Six Flags Kadea that's going to be mm -hmm. opening up because that's going to be completely funded 
by the by the government. Six Flags Kadea. You know. That's an interesting park that you brought up because number six is Six Flags Kadea. That was a good transition. I know that was really impressive. I'm I'm we're, we're so good at those transitions. We just smooth <laughs> move these uh, videos right along. Exactly. But this one had to make the list, obviously, because of Falcon's Flight. Yeah, Falcon's Flight is going to be the tallest, fastest, and longest roller coaster in the world when it opens. And it just looks unique, to say the least. Oh, definitely. I mean, it's going it's to be a crazy park, so that's one thing. Now, you can, you can talk about Saudi Arabia wanting to go to a place like that at the moment. So that might be further down the line if maybe they, like, they fix some of their issues over there. But... As far as the park itself, that's definitely a park that we would go to if it was like in any other country in the world. <laughs> yeah, I definitely want to go out there at some point because Saudi Arabia is a very interesting country. So now we are into our top five and we are at Fuji Q Highland. This is a very small park in Japan, yeah, it's but it's small. packed with amazing coasters. They have Edge and Nika, which is considered by a lot of people the greatest coaster in the world. Oh. Uh, Fujiyama. I want to ride the greatest coaster in the world. Fujiyama, Takabisha, Dodadompa, which is having some issues, but it is the fastest accelerating coaster in the world. So it has the fastest acceleration. It goes zero to 112 miles an hour in like 0.8 seconds or something. But it's an SNS, seconds. right? It's an SNS. It's an SNS, so that means that it's having issues. Very unreliable, yeah. But that park, just those absolute world class coasters in just one park is just so cool. And definitely want to get out there and now we're moving on to number four and finally moving into the united states where we are where we live yeah not one park so far has been in the united states but number four we are actually planning on going there early in the summer but we've for some reason not gone there yet silver dollar city this is considered to be what the best theme park in the United States, other yeah. than like a Universal or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people say it is just the best park in just in general in the United States, and I'm very excited to go because they have the first Mac Extreme Spinner Time Traveler, and while it may not be nearly as good as something like Ride to Happiness, it still looks like a fantastic ride and Outlaw Run and the park just looks like it has a ton of charm, just like in Dollywood, but even better. Yeah, and we've been to Dollywood three times now, so this is going to be the better version of that. So we can't wait to get there early on in the summer, and make sure you check out this channel if you want to check out anything about our thoughts of Silver Dollar City, because we will definitely be doing a vlog and all that. But now, let's move back over to Europe yeah, for number three. We're going to southern Germany, and this is considered... By Golden Ticket, the best amusement park in the entire world. Now, Golden Ticket, they don't really know what they're talking about a lot of times. But for not. this, I could definitely see why some people say it is the greatest amusement park in the world. This is Europa Park. Nice. Now, Europa Park, it looks absolutely ridiculous. Like, the best theming, the most beautiful park in the world, hands down. It is themed to different European countries. I'm pretty sure there's like 15 different European countries represented there and they're getting a new coaster and a new country, Croatia, and that's where Voltron is gonna be. So the park doesn't have the best coaster lineup in the world, but it's still good, especially with the addition of Voltron, but just the attention to detail and everything they have and all the narrow pathways and all that is just so cool. And this is a park that we have aspirations to go to, hopefully by hoping the end of this year, probably not, probably by next year, we're hoping to take a little European tour and uh, our German tour, I should say, since we would be staying within Germany and hoping to hit a few parks over there and Europa Park would definitely be one of them. And another one that we will be hitting up on that little tour, if we make it, will be our number two coaster. That's another transition. Look, yeah. I'm just killing it with these transitions today. And number two is Fantasia Land. It is home to Fly or FLY or however you yeah. want to say it, Terran. Yeah, like one of the best themed amusement parks in the world yeah probably the best individual like absolute theming not just beauty like how well it looks but just theming and like all the rides there are so well integrated uh Terran in Klukheim and Fly in Rukberg is just so cool how it's integrated in there and it's just Rukberg it's people very insane yeah Rukberg yeah and that's the new area with Fly and it's just so cool how the rides how the rides 
<laughs> I just like the words. I, I'm saying yes. Ruka. I like Ruka saying Ruka. and Rupert yeah, like are, are two of some of the uh, Fantasia lands in Fantasia land. Mm -hmm. But just the immersion and all that just looks ridiculous. So Fantasia land has a bunch of lands? Yes. So why isn't it called Fantasia lands? I don't know. Should be an S at the end. Or as some people are like, if you want to give the more German pronunciation, it's Fantasia Land or Fantasia something. Fantasia Land, or whatever. Wow. So some people say it different some way. Some people say it like that. But we're over here in America, so we're saying Fantasia Land. I think they might say Fantasia Land too. But now we are back into the United States for number one, and this was originally when we did this list. It was further down the list. But after like talking about it and really learning the park a little bit more. We moved it all the way up to number one. Number one. And that is indeed down Universal Studios' brand new park, Epic Universe. Epic Universe. This park is going to be amazing. Crazy. Everything. If you watch all these videos, we did a short little video that didn't even truly do it justice. Mm. And But this thing is going to be insane. There's going to be, what, five brand new lands? Yeah. Yeah, there's going to be five lands, and they all look so cool. Like, the, they have another Wizarding World of Harry Potter land, and this is going to be like 1920s Paris, and it looks like 1920s Paris. Like, the, with the construction, if you look at the construction, the buildings are the size of actual buildings in Paris, pretty much. It is just so cool. Yeah, you're going to just be totally immersed into all these lands. They have a Super Nintendo they have Celestial Park. They have How uh, to Train Your Dragon, train your dragon. Dark dragon. Universe, which is really cool because a lot of European I'm looking forward to Dark Universe. A lot of European parks have a lot of darker themes and like horror kind of themes, but parks in the U.S. don't really do that too much. So Dark Universe is going to be very cool and something that you don't really see too much in the U.S. So this is going to just be an all immersive park. Each new universe that you walk into. You're just gonna get in, like entailed in the entire thing, and you're, you're going just gonna to be, be inside this whole worlds, thing. Yeah. So it looks like it's gonna be amazing. So anyway, that is our top. All 10. these parks look amazing. Like I said, I hope to get to all of them at some point, and you could put any of these at number one, pretty much, because they all just look. Yeah, they all look ridiculous. like amazing parks. That's why they are our top bucket list parks. But that is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And we'll see you guys next time right here on Beach Cliff Studios. See ya.